Hello students and welcome to this video for exercise 31 of learning Microsoft Publisher. Uh, you can see we have here our open house and wetlands tour file. You should have opened up Pub 31, downloaded from Plus Portals. Uh, and let's go ahead and start our exercise by saving it, of course, under a new name. Now in this exercise we're going to be using a lot of the different shape tools in it, so it's going to be kind of fun. Save this one as 31 open underscore your initials. So 31 underscore your initials. And display the second page. So I'm going to click on the second page here because we've been working mainly with page number one. All right, it says how to find us. The Hendricks Inn is located at the corner of Shelby and West 86th Streets in downtown Hendricks. From I-47, take the Shelby Street exit going west. Then at 86th Street, turn right and then turn right again into Hendricks Inn parking lot. We're going to be drawing a map using the different shapes uh, that are available to us and so we're going to have a lot of fun doing that. I'm going to try to do with the magnifier tool. I feel like it's not going to go very well for me um, with it so I may give up here but we're going to try it. First off we need to draw a rounded rectangle with auto shapes for the map and so I mean really I have the button here for shapes I can also come over here to this page as well I'm going to click on shapes and then I'm going to go with the rounded rectangle right here. Now this rounded rectangle I'm going to make a decent size here so I'm actually going to start up about right here go all the way across here to the other side of the page and I'm going to make it about this big. So you go on you can see I started the kind of there and basically went down to six and a half inches. Then it says to draw some lines. I'm going to show you which lines we're going to draw here so get your line tool the way I can do that I can click on home I can do shapes that way and then select line that's one way um, there's other ways you can do it as well now there's gonna be two main lines that I draw here I need one going straight up and down and I need it to be a little bit off center so you can see my center point is right here I'm gonna put it about right there I need to leave some space here so I'm gonna put it about right here and I'm gonna hold down shift when I go to draw it reason being that if you hold down shift you'll notice it kind of makes the line go is a little bit straighter here so I'm gonna draw it to about right down here so if you look at my map here this is what it should look like for your first line then I'm gonna get the line tool again because I'm gonna draw another line and this one is gonna be uh, over here I need to leave space for a text box I'm gonna have it's gonna be a little bit off centered here so up above the center I'm gonna leave about this much space here about halfway and then I'm going to draw it across holding down shift so that way it's a nice straight line I'm going to go to about right here so right now your map should look something like this then I'm going to draw a rectangle box so I'm going to use a rectangle tool here so shapes rectangle now this is not going to be very big I'm going to go to about right here on a little map I'm going to draw a rectangle just like that and then it says here I need to put in some text box and so I'm going to draw some text boxes I'm going to do a few of them here so I'm going to draw one right here and then let's put this to best fit and I'm going to type in following info Shelby Street right here so for this one, Shelby Street. Then I'm going to get another text box here. Draw a text box. I'm going to put one up here above this one. So about right here. I'm going to choose text fit. Switch it to best fit. And for this one, I'm going to put in 86th Street. So that's good to go right there. Except I'm going to shorten this a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so I have Shelby Street, 86th Street right here. And then I'm going to get two more text boxes I'm going to add in. I need a text box over here. And this one I'm going to have a couple, two lines of text. So I'm going to put it about right here. Draw it out like this. And I'm going to put down best fit here. And type in the Hendrix in enter and put down 1478 W 86th Street 
And I'm going to change here the spacing in it because you can see it's very small due to spacing and such. I don't really want that. Actually, let's just do this. I'll make it bigger this way and I'll stretch out text box so it fits the text. There we go. So I'll work fine. Make it bigger because right now this one's a 12 point because here this is a 14.7 and this. Um, so you want this to be at least a decent size here. Okay, and then we got one more text box to draw and then we will be done with our text boxes and then we'll put in our final shape. So this one I'm actually going to start about right here. Close here and then I'm going to draw across to about not all the way to where the other text box is, about right here. Let's put it at at least 12. Oh, I'll do 14 since that's what's kind of in the running trend with the other ones. From, oh, I may need to make this smaller. I 47 Shelby Street Exit. Finish typing that in. I'm going to change the text to best fit, and that'll work okay. I can at least see it here um, with this one. And then I need to draw in here two final things. I need to draw in some arrows. So I click on shapes. I have my arrows option right here. One of them I need to draw from the Hendrix in part to right here, the rectangle. And then the other one, I'm going to get another one. Oop, I clicked on yeah, shapes, arrow. And so I drew that one. And then I'm going to draw one here pointing like this, going to about right here. Okay, and once you're done with your map, it should look just like this. So this is kind of how it looks with the normal view. I'll go and zoom over here for a second. You can see I have my different streets, Hendrix, and so we basically created a map using the different shape tools, which we've used these before, but it's really a great review um, for you. Go ahead, you need to save this part of the exercise, and then we got one more we need to open up here. So let's open a blank file, file, new, blank, and then we're going to save it right away. I'm going to show you which name to put it, or what to put for the name. So new file, we're going to save it as 31 draw underscore your initials. And what I need you to do here is you're going to pick one of the following three things and draw it as best as you can using the publisher drawing tools. So I want you to use the shapes, these things right here, these are the tools you need to use. Either draw a man walking a dog, a city street with building cars, an aquarium with fish and plants. So you got three things you can choose, a man walking a dog, a city street with buildings and cars, or an aquarium with fish and and plants and this needs to be a good size picture so this should basically fill up your page so that's what I'm be looking for for grading and here is did you fill up the page with different shapes and such you don't have to color them in but I do need to see most of the pages being used I shouldn't see a ton of empty space so I don't want like a picture that um, only fills up half the page or only a certain section of it so try to spread it across the whole page you can save your work and then submit it. And so for exercise 31, let me bring up my folder here. The files that you're going to need to submit are I need 31 draw and 31 open. Those are the two files I need you to submit. They're both publisher files. And that is how you complete exercise number 31 of learning Microsoft Publisher.